guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you how I style my hair from washing it into styling it. Um, but first I need you to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the thumbs up. Don't mind me because you know I look a little busted right now. It's late at night but I really wanted to record this video and get it out because a lot of people have asked me how I do my hair and how do I maintain it. Right now it's looking kind of dusty but I wanted to show you that so that you can see what it looks like from me actually washing it into styling it. Um, but right now I'm actually going to um, use this um, hair cutter that I got from my local beauty store, Beauty World, and it was only $1.99 and it has two blades. One cuts a little um, thinner and one doesn't cut as thin. But I use this for the back of my hair and I also use it for the sides. Now. My hair is dirty, so you may see a few flakes um, in this video of me, you know, taking some of the bulk out of my hair. And I do have scalp psoriasis, so I do um, have a lot more dandruff than most people. But what I'm going to do is, and I am relaxed. I am about, I think, like six, well, five or six weeks post relaxer. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to part this here if I can get it. I'm going to part that there and I'm going to actually take some of this bulk out here and you want to take it from the bottom because if you go from the top if you go if you go from the top um you know you may have some some short parts but I wanted to take it from the bottom and then so I'm going to do this before I actually wash my hair so just taking it out on the sides so that my hair can lay flatter Basically, you just comb it and it takes the, the bulk out. So, and it's, and I also put gel on the side, so that's another reason why it looks um, like all crusty looking. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's usually laid flatter than this, but hey, I didn't really do my hair today. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I'm just gonna go back in just a little bit. This side, the shorter side, or the wider side, takes out more hair. I actually have a little mirror that I got from um, TJ Maxx, and I'll turn around. Okay, so this is the back of my hair. And what I do is I'll take this, and this will like comb out some of the bulk. scissors I don't know where I got them from <laughs> my mom bought them for me but you know they're just your regular hair cutting scissors and I'll go around the nape of my neck How I get my hair to be thinner in the back um, I know a lot of you are like okay isn't this for your eyebrows yes yeah, for my eyebrows and I use it for the back of my hair and I've been doing this for years so this is my these are the two things that are used were the this cutter and then this to cut the back of my hair um, so this is what I do this is gonna get the bulk out <laughs> Alcohol. always do that if you're cutting your hair because you don't want to get those bumps 
My hair care regimen is a two day process. So basically what I do is I wash it the night um, before and then I let it air dry, go to bed with it. And the next morning is when I blow dry the long part and then I curl it, which I will show you that whole process now. Um, the reason why it is a two day process is because I don't have a sit under dryer like I used to um, when my hair is previously short, but I gotta get one of those. But that's just a different method if you don't have a sit under dryer and you want to cut your hair short and you want to figure out like how can you keep it laid and everything but yeah you could do the overnight drying process just tie it up and stuff or you, if you have a sit up under dryer that will save you way less time and it won't be a, a two-day process for you there is relaxed so um you if you comment in the comments down below if you're still relaxed so many people that are not relaxed anymore they're like girl are you natural no i'm not natural i haven't jumped on the bandwagon i'm still relaxed um i've tried it and i just cannot do it but i will say i don't um i don't relax my long part as often i'll mainly relax just the back and maybe like my edges and stuff around here and i think that's why this stays so healthy and, and thick but um but yeah so we about to get into the washing part so now I'm about to wash my hair. Um, I still have the same shampoo regimen as my last video that I posted. Uh, I used the Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk, their um, conditioner in the coconut milk, and I used the Care Care um, Anti-Danger Moisturizing Conditioner. Um, for people who have psoriasis, I do like this product from Care Care. Um, it does help help with my dandruff and it prolongs like my washes. Now for me, I have to wash my hair about every four days. Sometimes it'll last six. It all depends. Like if you if you have psoriasis and even scalp psoriasis, you know that with stress or like the weather changing, different things, sweat and all kinds of things, your psoriasis can like just go into hay wild and you gotta wash your hair so i've been dealing with psoriasis for a long time and i had to wash my hair like i said every three to four days and i'm pretty sure that aids in the healthiness of my hair my hair is just used to it but um yeah i do like this i used to use the oil on my hair for psoriasis but um it didn't work that well um i haven't really found anything that's like okay, I don't feel like I have psoriasis anymore, but you know, just something I deal with and this is something that I like using. But yeah, so I'm about to go wash my hair. And I okay, so I've just shampooed my hair twice and now I'm letting the Care Care conditioner sit in my hair for probably about five to 10 minutes. Um, I try to do that so that it can um, really, you know, penetrate my scalp and stuff like that because of the dandruff, but just letting that sit in there. So, I'm actually about to go rinse this out and I will be back. Um, I just finished washing my hair, so now I'm about to set it. And I actually used the Nairobi um, Wrapping It Rapid Shine Foam and Lotion, and then I used the Motions Active Moisture Leave In Detangler. Um, these are my two things that I used to set it, and that is it. So, my hair is still damp. And now I have these are my three combs that I have. Well, these are the two combs that I have, and then I have a brush. Um, this is the comb that I usually use to part my hair. Once your hair is cut, you know, your part lines will kind of still be there, like your hair. You'll know like kind of where to part it, and you'll just have to clean it up. So now I'm just gonna apply some of the um, leave-in detangler. Then I just use my Nairobi. Some of the excess 
and then I take this part here and I just wrap it right here okay so we have that one side back I just take this old head wrap this one isn't super silky um it's kind of like a it's like a stretch type of material and I use this one as you see it got holes in it and it's a wrecky but anyway it gets a job done but yeah, it's not the super silky kind. Um, it does have a, a breathable type material, but I use this kind because I'm going to bed with my hair wet and it's gonna soak up the um, wet hair. So I just kind of keep it tight and I do a crisscross method in the back. Bring it around, tie it, tuck it on this side, tuck it on this side now as you know some of y'all can't go to bed with your head wet i understand that and sometimes it, it does give me like sinus issues going to bed with my head wet, especially in the winter time but i've you know gotten used to it so i keep this kind of tight and keep the middle part like tight down so that your hair um stays flat is if you want to dry it just a little bit use your blow dryer and just kind of like go around for about maybe 10 15 minutes and you know to get your hair not to be so wet but basically the next steps are in the morning so stay tuned hi guys so it's the next morning and i'm about to finish doing my hair um by now it has um, mainly dried i haven't even took my wrap off yet um so now i'm about to blow dry it and then we'll continue with what we're doing. as you can see my hair is still kind of damp right here um but for the most part you know it's mainly dry especially the back and stuff like that so i'm gonna start off with my uh, organics coconut milk um anti-breakage serum i've been using this for a long time and i really love it especially you know if you have problems with your hair breaking and stuff this is this is really good um so just take about see about that much and Put it all over my hair. also creates more body um, when I curl it and stuff like that as long as I don't put too much oil on it but um but yeah so this just kind of also cuts down the heat that I'm using on my hair um, and it keeps it a lot more healthier I feel like but now I'm gonna actually get to the curling process and I'll just like put my hair in a ponytail <laughs> but um but yeah so so i use this old old super old golden hot barrel iron and i actually um go over my roots like this <laughs> always start with the back of my hair I think it's a Remington um, flat iron but I've had it um, forever and it still works great um, I will probably not get a new one and see like this one actually goes all the way out So I start from this side of my hair when I curl the long part. I comb, I mean I part it, and then I just comb it down. 
And for the most part, when I did the barrel iron the other way to get my roots kind of, it kind of like straightened it out. I pull, I pull on my hair when I'm doing it. So I pull, start from the root. And I kind of bevel the, the um, flat iron like that. And then I still go in again so that it kind of lays down and it's like not sticking out. Be careful with your ear. And I just kind of just keep parting, going up, curling. Sometimes I do put some more oil on the counter if I feel like my hair needs more oil, but I've already put it up up here. Um, I don't like my strands to feel dry. So I'll go through one pass and then the other pass is when I kind of curl a little bit tighter. Okay, so we have these type of bevel type curls. Then I'll get my roots. kind of play with it however you want to do it kind of finger comb it now see my hair is longer down here but I, I curled it kind of tightly okay so what I do for my sides is I use the Ampro Pro Style Gel on the sides um, this one doesn't flake in a white flaky color um, you know it does have a brown flake Whenever it does, like, but I use that for my sides and just kind of get it. Now, see how scraggly that looks? I could have cut it before I put the gel on it, but what I will do is I will go at the angle of my ear and I will cut because I have gel on it and I have to wipe it. I just take my brush, kind of smooth it with my hands too. I didn't cut it the best, but it's okay. So then I'll hold my finger for the top part and bring the bottom down and back out. And I just keep playing with it till you get it the way that you want it. And then sometimes I'll tie it up with my um, my wrap, so it'll go ahead and dry. But that's like the side. Then we have like this style. Um, or, you know, I can push it back. Have it more up, very high. Like that. And then another thing that I do with my hair a lot of people have asked, like, how did I get that um, the little flip at the end? So what I will do is I will take this long part down here. I will go forward. And then I go back, kind of like a wave. Like that. 
And then the rest of the hair is curled the same way. Most of the time I do wear it this way. Um, pull it back to the front. And it lays better once you wrap it. But yeah. And then just get my And yep, yeah. and that is basically how I do my hair. And um, once you wrap it and everything, I just wrap it to the side right here and just put my hair wrap on and that's how I go to bed. But for the most part, that's how I do my hair and it stays. So hope you enjoyed watching this video and hope you got some good tips. Yes. Not already subscribe to my channel, make sure you do so and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.